Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial series, and this is basically where I tell you how to do things, or uh, how to set things up, and just the normal tutorial series. But uh, today, I'm just gonna tell you how to make a Gary's mod server. I'm just today, I'm just gonna tell you how to make a basic Gary's mod server, what you'll need, and things like this. I won't go into much detail. I'll just install you how to install the dark rp game mode and uh, dark rp modification and things like that and set up your simple dark rp server so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to google chrome and go to steam cmd developer software you'll be taken to this page that says steam cmd valve this is where you're going to download your command center where you can um, uh, download your server. So what you want to do is just download CMC, Steam CMD, click on Windows, and then click on this link here. What you're going to do is go to Save As, and I'm going to make a new folder in my desktop and call it Steam CMD. You don't have to do it in your desktop; it's just much more convenient here because you'll be using Steam CMD uh, for more than with this video sometimes you need it to do um, other things so we just want to save the zip file here now we're going to open folder and just extract files here okay now we've got that we can delete the zip folder now what you want to do is open up steamcmd.exe and everything will start uh, downloading this is perfectly normal and I'll get back to you once it's all downloaded okay once this is downloaded what you want to do is just minimize this tab we'll come back to it later but you'll just go into any drive you want I, I have two I would I prefer to use my local disk D because this is where I keep all my Gary's mod servers and plus some other things. So what you'll just want to do is um, make a new folder and call it Dark RP. Since I already have a Dark RP folder, I'm going to call it Dark RP Two. This folder is where you'll keep all your Dark RP files. You, this is where you'll keep your server, this is where you'll start your server, this is where you're going to put in add-ons, this is where you'll uh, do your jobs, do your shipments for your server. So, uh, this is a quite an important folder, so you don't really want to uh, mess around with this unless you don't know what you're doing. But first, we need to actually install the server onto this, because as you can see, that is empty. So what you need to do is open up your Steam CMD and type in login space anonymous. Make sure you spell anonymous right or it wouldn't work. We'll just uh, connect to the Steam public now. It shouldn't take too long. Now what you want to do is set the directory for your server. So this basically tells Steam where to download your Gary's Mod server and what file it wants to be in. So what you're going to do is force underscore install um, underscore dir. And then you're going to do a space. What you're going to do now is go into your dark rp folder. And go up here and copy it. Now, you go back into your Steam CMD and paste that, and then you press enter. Now what you've got to do is app update 4020, and it'll start downloading everything. This will take a while. So I will go back to you later and it's downloading things onto the folder. That's perfectly normal So I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay now that my Okay now that my server is downloaded what we need to do is go into the server Which is dark rp2 here. We are 
this is just the basically the main fault server and folder and stuff now what we want to do is we need to right click go to new text document I'm just going to call it start dot bat and it'll say uh, this just press yes and it becomes a windows batch file if that doesn't work then what you need to do is you need to go to view and check file name extensions and rename it again and then that what that will do is that makes it so that it becomes a batch file instead of just a normal text file so at the moment we can't start the server now this is where this batch file comes in what you want to do is you want to right click it and go to edit and now what you want to do is go to uh, this page so all this link all these links will be in the description by the way I'll just copy this right click copy and then we'll paste it here we'll save it and this is where you um, this is where this uh, you'll do stuff for your main server so what you'll have is your have yeah, the map, this is where you change maps, players, and yeah, that's all you really want to do. And there's also game modes, but we'll go into that later. So basically, just uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, tell you how to download maps in another video. It'll be uh, one where I'll tell you how to get maps and add-ons. So, um, so you just change your player amount, so I'll change it to 32. I'll leave the map at you and construct. So we've basically finished our main server and now what we're going to do is make it into a dark RP server. So what you want to do is you want to go here I want to go to this github page and then what we'll clone a download download zip and what we want to do is we want to do save as and we'll go into our Gary's mod uh, server dark RP we'll go into Gary's mod game modes and we'll just save it here and then open folder we will extract here okay that's just extracting and we can delete this and rename this to just dark rp in lowercase so now our server will come up as dark rp but we still haven't finished yet so what we need to do now is we need to go to this page and this is basically gonna be your admin stuff this is gonna be your um, your uh, admins this is gonna yeah it's basically that it's your server control so what you want to do is you want to go down here uh, ULX 3.73 installer with ULib because you need ULX, uh, you need ULib to work for ULX to work. So what you just want to do is click this link. Again, we go to save as. What we want to do now is go back into our Gary's Mod server. We will go to Gary's Mod, then Add-ons, and then we'll save here. You don't have to do it in Add-ons. It's just easier to delete if you don't know where you save it so we just do this installation now okay okay i agree then we'll go to our uh, gary's mod server so this pc uh, my drive uh dark copy to gary's mod then add-ons again so yeah we'll press install complete then close okay then we can delete this because we don't need that anymore and lastly, we need to download our Dark RP modification. So what you need to do is you need to download zip, save as again, and then we want to go to the add-ons folder that we were just in and just save here. Open folder and extract here. Okay, we can delete that folder now. And this is where you'll... Uh, do your jobs and stuff but we'll do that in another video so 
before you open up your server, you must realize it isn't Dark RP yet. Even though we've downloaded and everything, we just need to change a little bit. So we want to go to start.bat, go to edit, and then here you see there's no uh, game mode. So what we want to do is we want to do uh, press space, plus, and just type in game mode dark RP, and you just want to make it lowercase. So we'll just save that. And then now we run our server. Okay. Okay, when Vac Secure, Vac Secure mode is activated, that's when you know your server is running properly. So, we'll open up Steam and go to Gary's mod. I'll go back to you when this loads. Okay, now what to do is go to find multiplayer game local network and as you'll see it says dark rp and go here press join server okay now we're on the server it says we'll need to mount css but in the corner here but we'll do that in another we'll do that in another video okay so this is where do everything spawn stuff uh, you cannot spawn up and see the permissions are already done. Here's the F4 menu. Here's the no. So yeah, um, this is just basically the server that you'll run. I'll show you how to do all this other stuff in the other video, but I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. And just to side note, I will not be showing you how to port forward it. Um, you could just search up videos of how to port forward on your browser, on your um, uh, router, router, or however you want to say it. But remember, uh, uh, it is a useful tip um, that if say you're watching a video on how to um, you know on on your router or how to port forward and um, it gives you the minecraft code what you want to do is just change that to 27015 because that would be the Gary's mod one uh, and just to do everything else the tutorial says and that, that should be fine but uh, my servers are already pot forward so anyone can join anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you've got any problems just pop it into the comments below and I'll respond and try help with the uh, will help with any problems but uh, thanks and uh, goodbye